I've been asked many times what company made the best rifles or makes the best rifles. Um, what a difficult question. There are so many factors when it comes to rifles. The fit and finish are obvious attractions, but then the bolt action or whatever action and the details of that action make a difference. The stocking, the checkering, the finish of the wood, the quality of the wood, it's almost endless. But over the years, um, I'm fairly certain there were some brands that de definitely caught my attention. Um, about quite a few people think of Schultz and Larson, and Schultz and Larson makes some remarkable rifles. And then from Austria, the Mannlicher Schönauer rifles, which turned into the Steyr Mannlicher. And I decided after looking at my collection, taking the various rifles out, probably the rifle was the most unique action, it may not be the strongest action, but definitely unique, is is the Mannlicher Schönauer and then the following Steyr Mannlickers. Uh, that doesn't mean that Kimber and all these others and the British guns aren't fantastic, but that's a different realm of firearms manufacturing. I wanted to stick with a more or less a conventional manufacturer, even if they're expensive. So I, I took out four of the rifles that I have. I actually have one more. Um, it's in caliber 458. I think I put it on a video before. But the ones that I have are representative of this lineage of rifles. And while I'm r showing you the guns, you can keep an eye on the fit and finish of the steel components and the amount of care and, and workmanship that went into the stocking, the checkering, so that the the result of of all of the gun makers, the stalkers and, and the actioners and so forth is, is sort of greater than the sum of the parts. And I'll start with the gun closest to me, which is a Mannlicher Schönauer. This is in 264 Winchester Magnum. And I, I think this was made in the 60s or 70s. Uh, modern cartridge, 264 Win Mag. And you can see it has the split receiver in the back so the bolt handle rides through through the back of the action and aside from being a fantastically smooth action uh, to operate it benefits from the rotary magazine so you you load rounds in here and then when you want to unload you simply push this button and i should have taken out the the base plate um, this rotates and and that's the rotary magazine uh, you can see the trigger guard is steel it's inletted into the wood something like a fine shotgun the checkering here is it, it's not um, exhibition quality checkering but it's serviceable it's good and in those days everybody wanted white line spacers so that's what they offered uh, the barrel and the the rifling are excellent. I fired this rifle and they're, it's, uh, as usual, uh, extremely accurate. Uh, the buttstock, some people might take exception to. It's kind of a uh, an Americanized version of the original Austrian Jaeger design, but the, I don't see anything wrong with the American style. This is here because it gets your cheek higher for scope use. The original came here lower. You can imagine that. Everything else on the rifle is 100% reliable. It's, it's a, it, a t I was going to say it's a typical Mauser safety, but one could also say it's a typical Mannlicher Schönauer type safety. And uh, the split bridge makes scope mounting a little difficult, but not a big deal. You can see somebody has installed a, a, a side mount scope. So they made this for a long time. Um, I had 1903s and there were 6.5 by 54s uh, and not just the 1903 model and then they broadened their line uh, but ultimately this became too expensive to manufacture and so they they started making a different gun and the other three guns on the table um, you can see kind of a relationship in the appearance of the guns uh, but this more modern version made by Steyr 
bad liquor it now. It doesn't have a split bridge. In fact, these actions lock at the rear. So, I mean, in a way, they don't have anything in common with with the original Bad Liquor Schoenauer. But the lineage is there. The fit and finish of these is, is exceptional. The bluing, um, the shaping of the bolt handle alone is, is, uh, is remarkable. Some people may not like this. It's a European style. The bolt lift is minimal, you can see. You, you can easily clear this scope or a much larger scope. And um, just to give you an idea how smooth they are, they, they I mean, a lot of guns do that. Um, I'll show you the other side of the action. So it says Steyr Mannlicher. This gun is in 6.5 by 57. It has the hammer forged barrel and they retain the marks of the hammer forging. I don't know if you can see those, those radial hammering marks it it I mean typically it would be polished away but it kind of looks very elegant and this is the full stock model and again it has the the Monte Carlo stock uh, and these bases are not quick detachable but they're they're similar actually to a to how a Redfield um, scope mounting system works you just have to remove the screw and you could take it off so this one's 6.5 by 57 and um, and then um, my favorite action is actually this one which is the same rifle but in 22 250 some people call this one the baby action and it has all the same features um, minimal bolt lift whatever that is 60 degrees and Oh, I forgot to mention, both of these have the, have the um, rotary magazines. This one you push forward on the trigger guard and then remove the magazine. It's not hard to do, I don't think. It's maybe a little stiff. I don't shoot these guns or use them. <clears throat> oh, it's not bad. I just wasn't doing it right. Yeah, it's, it's, you just have to push it far enough forward. So that's well made. And this one came with a couple of magazines, double set triggers. And then um, same with this one, but the release on this model, you know, there are always little differences. It are, it's, it's on both sides. So you just squeeze here. Probably a better system than that one. And, and it's a polymer, but I've never seen one break or jam or anything like that. And it clicks in place, double set triggers again. And, you know, and collectors will look at things like the shaping of the bolt handle. And, yeah, they all close. Um, this, this one is made for weight. It's lighter. This, this rifle only weighs like five pounds, probably. Yeah, the full stock. Hooded front sights, sling swivels, uh, basket weave, checkering. Some people call that skip line. And then the last one that... Um, might be appealing to more people these days is what they call the the Luxus model, sort of luxury model. It has the same hammer forging marks. Um, this rifle is so um, so fancy. It's a it's a it's an amazing. Yeah, it's good. Now here we go. They got rid of the um, the rotary magazine and went to a. A single stack magazine looks like it holds maybe four rounds this is in um, I believe seven millimeter Remington Magnum and I don't know which I prefer I always prefer a steel magazine and this is steel and rotary is nice for loading and unloading but maybe this is best best and it has the short bolt lift uh, they, they put some jeweling on the bolt which looks good and then instead of having a double set trigger it has the push forward set trigger I don't know if you caught that so you just you've seen this before like that and then it has a tang safety it's got a roller safety um, the other ones I'll, I'll show you in a second I like roller safeties they if you take them apart it's actually a pretty good feature so 
th this is the Luxus model, and let me just make sure about that caliber. So this is, sorry, it's not 7, it's 300 Win Mag. So I mean, this is a big gun, and that looks like a 26 inch barrel. And a lot of time the European gun makers um, have no hesitation in offering like a 26 inch barrel or so. So uh, just to review, that's the roller safety on the Luxus model. And then the 6.5 by 57 has the safety here. And so does the baby action here. And then on the original Manneker Chenard, you can see it has both, it has the wing safety and it also has a safety here. Um, and which one you use is, is up to you. I would use the wing safety or no safety at all and just keep the bolt open. Anyhow, I thought I'd show you these things and um, they're sort of, like I said at the beginning, from what I know, they're probably the top of the top of the gun maker's art for, for factory finished guns. And um, they've changed them again and come out with models that have different metal finishes and the actions are similar but not the same and after you've collected for a while you can see where the costs go up uh, and it usually relates to how much handwork is involved but if you can pick up any one of these in particular the baby action I would do so uh, they're not only elegant accurate and excellent they're, they're sound investments and they just seem to continually go up in value uh, and all the steel everything is first class I mean some people would say it's not the fanciest wood but I, I would say it's definitely fancy enough and very short lock time everything's the way it should be amazing workmanship out of Austria and um, I've never actually owned one that didn't shoot um, exceptionally well so I thought I'd share those with you and um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.